Hello, this is Shesha Chalam from Ashgad Mysore. Today let us understand the effects of Venus when it is combust. I have done all the planets uh, and their combustion uh, uh, already it's finished. That is I have finished Mercury's combustion, I have finished Mars, Jupiter and Saturn. These all four combustion and their results have already been posted. I will be uh, putting it in the end screen and you can uh, you people can uh, go through those uh, videos also. But today let us understand the results when Venus becomes combust. Uh, particularly this is a general thing. I am not going into the detail as to where Venus will be posited. I'm not going into the details as to whether Venus is in the Lagna or in the 7th house or in the 5th house or anything like that. But still when Venus is combust. Venus usually gives us the color white, sparkling white. That is why it is represented by a diamond in the gemstone for uh, therapeutical uses. But when we go into the real color of Venus, it's more of, you know, glowing pink. That's what, you know, the rose, rosy pink color. That's when we say, when Venus is very well posited in the ascendant of a person, we, sell, we tell that the face is glowing with a lot of health, you know, pink in health. We always tell pink of health. So, when this particular planet gets combust, that is, it's uh, in the same longitude of sun, uh, and uh, I take Venus combust if it is within 5 degrees from Sun. I don't take Venus combust if it is more than 5 degrees from Sun. So I give some uh, strength to Venus starting from 5 degrees. So when a planet is combust, that doesn't mean that it will lose all its strength. So particularly when Venus is retrograde and combust, that means it is in between, uh, you know, Sun and Earth. So Venus is in between. So it comes like this and it becomes combust. So that means Venus is nearer to Earth and uh, you can see one part of Venus, uh, you know, and then you can see Sun behind it. So if it is in the same uh, inclination and if it is in the same longitude, you can see that uh, you, we, very recently we have seen that Venus going over Sun, you know, the black dot over the Sun. So that is because the sh shadow, that is the Venus, Venus becomes an, uh, uh, you know, obstacle or we call it an object yeah, and which stops the light of sun uh, to a particular in that particular uh, position so uh, the astronomers uh, gave us a beautiful picture of sun being marred by the you know transiting venus so this happened uh, a few years back if you go to your uh, the google and search for it you get those beautiful pictures of uh, you know venus uh, traversing across the sun's uh, diameter in an oblique way. So, uh, a retrograde Venus means that it is very powerful. Though it is combust, it has power and that's a different thing. Uh, some parts of the retrogression of Venus also I will be covering here, but still I will not be covering all the parts of retrogression of Venus, which will be covered in detail in the later uh, uh, days when, you know, it's like retrograde and combust. I will do it later on. But let's now focus on generally on Venus being combust. So the, the color which is more pleasant pink will become reddish, you know, tanned reddish and the skin tone will be like a burnt red or, you know, we call it as a, a rough red on the, and the face will be, you know, more masculine in a, in a character. So usually people who have a very strong Venus in the Lagna, even the males, will look beautiful rather than being handsome the males will look beautiful more attractive complexion is beautiful so they look more feminist uh, you know the beauty of the female is uh, seen so it's more feministic in uh, uh, their uh, you know the body structure is like that particularly the facial features what we call so if venus is combust they lose this even the females, when they have Venus combust in their chart, will have this boyish kind of a character, like tomboyish kind of a character, look more bold. They are very bold, 
very opinionistic and uh, you know and masculine so they are still artistic it's not that they are uh, they fail in ar architecture or art but here it is more of an engineering kind of a thing that is they become more skillful they are uh, very good in their uh, um, you know fine arts with regard to you know it gets modified actually and uh, the the, mod the modification is like that it goes into architecture it goes into textile you know all industry based because sun comes and takes over the characteristics of venus and passes it, uh, passes it over to the native you know it's a joint combination of sun and venus here when it is combust so combust uh, once again i'm telling either side of sun i take it as 5 degrees on either side of sun for venus so within that so uh, they go into genetic studies like msc you know masters in genetics they go into agriculture they go into you know uh, for uh, arts they go into martial arts like karate judo you know taekwondo they are very good at this they are very good uh, skilled uh, sportsmen particularly indoor like uh, snooker uh, like billiards like uh, shuttle badminton they are very good at it and uh, that's all because of the uh, beautiful placement of uh, um, you know sun also if it is well placed if it is badly placed there are many other things which uh, the person suffers from like uh, bone difficulties difficulties of uh, the varicose veins difficulties of heart problems and the problems concerning fertility uh, because uh, venus represents uh, ovary and uh, fertility in men it uh, represents a difficulty in uh, you know uh, conceiving due to impotency and uh, you know uh, the sperm count might be very less and uh, they will have to go for uh, medication uh, in the this particular aspect so when it is fully combust i would consider that the person is a little shabby but hygienically they will be very clean very neat but uh, there will not be neat neatness will not be there they will be shabby so uh, there will be a lot of concern with regard to hygiene but because uh, venus when it's combust people are a little fearful with regard to you know if i touch this anything will happen to me if i do this i get infected so i should be far away from this so they have this inhibition uh, uh, with regard to uh, getting involved uh, you know directly with some of the you know like like touching pets or animals but if it is a it's only slight slightly combust and if it is retrograde particularly particularly retrograde and combust these people uh, have a deep love towards uh, Uh, their pets the animals like dogs particular wildlife photographers you have a retro venus you know slightly combust you know within 5 to 7 degrees from uh, uh, sun which is slightly combust these people are very good in uh, artistic photography architectural photography journalism photography and these people are very good in art particularly wildlife and uh, you know they they go very deep into the subject and they can they can be very good exp you know expert uh, veterinarians uh, particularly venus they can become doctors in uh, you know veterinary science and they can also uh, be very good in animal husbandry this uh, subject which actually people suddenly don't prefer to get into but still i'll tell you uh, you know i'm against this animal husbandry but i am for the wildlife you should understand see this is a personal perception but if i go into the uh, astrological terms and terminologies they make a lot of money in this so anyway uh, <clears throat> palpitation and anxiety and uh, you know hypertension related problems will be there in uh, uh, people who are uh, going through these uh, uh, this type of a uh, combust uh, you know who have a combust venus in their chart so problems of the heart as i told you earlier is also because venus represents the veins venah is nothing but the vein veins venus venah all sanskrit and english words i am just uh, uh, combining so these veins can get clogged if they are malefically posited like in the 6th 8th or the 12th houses of the chart if sun and venus is posited these people should be a little careful with regard to their uh, you know hypertension or uh, how to uh, you know how they control their uh, uh, heart uh, palpitations and uh, certain things with regard to the cholesterol and triglycerides and uh, low density lipids 
so they have to be a, uh, they have to be careful so fifth house is for the heart fourth house is for the upper heart so i i don't take fifth house fully for the heart i i have done some research where in the heart actually spans from the second half of the fourth house to this first half of the fifth house so i take this uh, you know midpoint of the fourth and the fifth as the center point of the heart of the human body so when sun and venus are positioned in the fourth and the fifth and their venus is combust people have to be a little careful with regard to you know cardiac uh, problems so though they are not very beautiful but they are very bright in their face sparkling eyes but they have the superiority the complex of superiority this is there and uh, these people are uh, you know very superior you know superiority is there and they feel that they are very uh, prominent and beautiful so the leadership quality will be there uh, when uh, venus is uh, combust uh, in certain areas uh, um, but they will be bold masculine and bold leadership quality is there and they also are very confident about their uh, uh, facial uh, features and they are uh, you know many people i have seen when saturn moon is sitting and uh, you know ketu moon is placed their people are very introverts these people are not introverts they are extroverts so they will love luxury they love branded uh, items uh, because venus is combust so the main quality of venus uh, for uh, acquiring good uh, branded goods will be taken over by sun which actually uh, emphasizes on extravaganza spending a lot on branded goods so both of them are having the same type of a nature but uh, sun makes it you know doubly more uh, uh, prominent so common sense we yeah, are my my teacher would always tell this and uh, anyway in many places it was written that common sense is one common thing which is very you know commonly not available in common people so <laughs> it's commonly absent it's generally absent in common people that's what is called common sense so i gave, you know my guru ji my guru would always keep telling that you know you keep searching for common sense in common areas you don't get them you know very special people only have common sense so when venus gets combust before taking any fast decisions because these people take very fast decisions please take somebody's advice because there is a chance that you can stumble you know suddenly you go blank and your common sense fails so be careful so that's very important a uh, very important point for people who take regular decision making is there you know suddenly they lose the strength of decision making and they can stumble and uh, take wrong decisions so there is also a chance of flaw in character you know what's flaw in character is like you know promiscuity which is not always seen but still if you venus is for uh, relationships uh, love romance and when it is combust it shows that there might be a sudden you know affair which a person might go through and might go through some defamation and uh, might have to regret that particular mistake what he did in life so which might sometimes be you know irreversible and uh, will have to go through some irreversible difficulties in family life also you know like divorces and all those things so if people are having a combust venus please be very clearly ethical with regard to relationships do not unnecessarily take advantage of any situation it's very dangerous for you so um uh, diamond will not suit in this case when um, venus is uh, you know people uh, keep advising telling that whenever venus is weak you keep uh, wearing diamond to enhance it but please in this case venus will be weak because of its position as combust diamond is not recommended do not wear diamond as a gemstone for therapy okay and uh, practicality of life you know they they fail these points where they stumble uh, into you know thinking that they are practical they are very bold they do this but sometimes uh, they have to get a training into their skills before applying it into practical use so do not take half knowledge into your work you will you will you will actually get humiliation so if people are having venus combust 
before joining any job or starting any business please be thorough in the subject do not simply jump into the business only because you have some money to invest don't jump into the business if you are good in the subject and work for for few years let's say 4 to 5 years in that same line and only then go into business so don't jump into business venus combust might give you a you know it might uh, backfire so mom i think i have covered uh, most of the things yeah they they also excessively indulge into many things it depends upon the bhava and its lordship uh, for the area of intelligence uh, you cannot tell a one particular area it all depends because if if it is uh, the fifth lord they are you know always worried about their children and their progress if it is a seventh lord they are always worried about the relationships and uh, if it is a sixth lord they are always worried about their health so it all depends where they get indulged so if it is a sixth lord and it is combust they freely keep taking medicines you know one after the other because they feel that if i don't take the medicine i'll die if i don't take the medicine something is going to happen to me so this fear uh, this uh, you know tension and stress kind of might cause insomnia when it is sitting this particular combination in the 12th house so there are a lot of variations for every combination particularly venus combust it's a very tough subject to discuss it's not a easy subject to discuss at all so uh, these people love and uh, you know admire art they spend a lot of money on you know goods of art you know they decorate their houses beautifully and uh, you know but but they themselves are unkempt and a little shabby so if it is fully combust they are shabby and if it is slightly combust they are extremely uh, you know well kempt and they go for lengths to you know they don't come out without a pressed shirt they don't come out without uh, you know a matching uh, ornament so if it is slightly combust so this is a very difficult uh, thing for venus because venus is a very hot uh, planet in the solar system it is the hottest planet in the solar system uh, other than sun sun anyway goes to 15 million degrees there so that's a very different thing but venus is the hottest planet so there are there are two planets which are hot and acidic both are pitta so when when venus is also when venus is combust and if it is placed in the fifth house these people tend to you know eat more because their bile is have working very you know you know that the liver is working very strong so they have a strong liver so you you should not eat in one go because there again the problem might start with uh, you know getting uh, blood pressure problems and all these things so eat small meals in short intervals that's a good thing for uh, people who are having venus combust that is venus and sun combination in the second house or in the fifth house so thank you very much for uh, today's class i think this class was a little you know not that smooth because this subject itself is not that easy to explain so thank you very much